What's going on guys, Faux Games here, and today I have for you first Madden video in a while. It's actually going to be a pack opening. This is going to be a postcard. We're going to jump right into this. This is the Legend Bundle they had over the weekend. It was uh, super expensive, but it was super worth it if you ask me. You'll see why in a second here. We're starting off with the Legendary Pack. So you get 10 Legendary Packs and a guaranteed Steve McNair, I believe the Legend was. Or no, my bad, Donovan McNabb or uh, a linebacker from the Raiders. But we start off with a Richie Incognito right there. And you're guaranteed at least two Legend Collectibles. And I think maybe even a Gold Legend player. So these packs, yeah, you see right there. And that Donovan McNabb is an expensive card. So I made a ton of coins off of this, probably around uh, 700k. And I just actually finished up doing the Antonio Brown challenges. So now I have 93 overall version of him, which I boosted to a 95. And uh, yeah, I make a ton of upgrades at the end of this video. You guys are gonna see. I get a real, I get a sick pull. It's probably it's a pull worth 250k at least. Uh, at least that's what I sold them for. And yeah, and I really upgraded my cornerbacks. So I decided to go with Tim Brown, Mel Blunt, and Champ Bailey. Who, when you incorporate their chemistries, become a 93, 92, and 92 overall. So they're savage cornerbacks. And uh, I focus on my defense a lot because I feel like offense is more skill based and defense is more uh, how good your players are. But uh, focusing on these packs real quick, we get a couple collectibles. The Willie Brown collectible, that's a rather new player right there. And I actually use that to uh, fill out his set, I think. And it's a lot cheaper to do the legend sets on the weekends, guys, because all the prices go down. The market goes down for legend things because everyone's pulling these packs, getting these uh, collectibles. And yeah, as you can see, we get another Willie Brown right there, but the players don't really go for too much. And the older players, you just need 10 collectibles and one of the guy. Uh, the new ones, you need like five different versions of the guy, so the old ones are much easier to get. But since they've revamped it, it got, it got a little bit different. Okay, so we're still looking for another elite after that Richie Incognito. We've kind of been on a dry spell. There we get two more collectibles. And guys, like I said, just from this alone, I made over 600k on this one. And it was, a, I think I want to say $80. So it was a little expensive, but it was definitely worth it. Versus buying on a coin website where $100 can get you only like 500k. And that's without tax and all that. So uh, we're going on here, getting a lot of golds, and guys, these golds are somewhat good for me, and so are the bronze and silvers as we get another good Donovan McNabb, oops, sorry, right there, and uh, yeah, so basically these golds are good because I can use them in the team hero sets, which I need because I'm going for road and mutt master, as you guys know, mutt master though, it's, um, it's a lot of a grind, because I'm basically, as we get a Justin Houston there, who surprisingly only goes for 10k, I thought he would go for a lot more, I felt like last year he went for a lot at the end of the year too. Uh, Tony Dorsett, Dallas Clark, and another collectible here, Javon Curse. But yeah, um, like I was saying, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, Mutt Master got put on sidetrack a little bit. We did all the head-to-heads that we need. We got the 100 badges, but it's just the ultimate seasons are such a grind. And the man of the month, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that anytime soon. Which uh, I should be able to, actually, because I have 23 of those collectibles. But you also need another one for the Roadmaster, so I don't know about that. Uh, we're looking for we, there's a new alternate chemistry card. It's kind of replacing Road to the Playoff cards this year, but I, I feel so stupid because I already put the uh, the Ultimate Seasons and the Gauntlet and the um, one other thing. What is it? The Ultimate Seasons, the Gauntlet, and I'm drawing a blank on this right now. Uh, something else you need for Mutt Master that you also need for the uh, Road Master. So I accidentally put all of those in Mutt Master before Roadmaster came out, thinking, oh, I'm going to just, you know, there's no point in saving them. And I actually could have got Roadmaster done really early as we get a Randy Moss collectible, which goes for 50k still, so that's a really nice pull right there. And, yeah, so if I would have just held on to those collectibles, I definitely could have had a good chance of doing Roadmaster sometime soon because the chemistry things I'm already halfway done with, and they're pretty easy. And there's Max Strong, nice pull right there. And then after that, the chemistries, all you really have to do is um, buy elite badges, get a man of the month collectible, and you're basically done right there after that. So yeah, I kind of got upset a little bit that I didn't, uh, that I didn't do that. But uh, I like how they have the new uh, improved binder space. That's another nice option they added. Um, but these tips, things we keep getting, I'm putting them towards the awards winners set as we get another Willie Brown collectible right there. I'm trying to uh, build up to those 250 uh, tip cards, get an uh, award as we get a Brian Dawkins card right there, and we'll finish it off with a Mike Singletary collectible. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go on ahead right here, 
And I forget, like I say, guys, this is a postcom, so if I'm a little off on my movements, excuse me. But we're going to get this last Legend pack right here. And these are Legendary packs. I think they're actually different from Legend packs. I don't know how, but somehow they are. So, yeah, okay, we got a couple of more goals. Can we finish on an Elite? That was the question. We got a, a lot of Bob Sanders collectibles, but I don't really need any safeties. There's a John Elway collectible, and we are not going to finish on anything. But we do get a Randy Moss. Not sure if he goes for anything. I forget. And uh, the last thing we have is the Legend Topper. A guaranteed McNabb or the other guy. I was really hoping for McNabb because at the time he was going for around 400 k And you can see right here, I do get McNabb. Not the limited edition, but I'll take it. I was thinking about if I should keep him or not. And Aaron Rodgers is basically the same thing as him, just slower. And uh, yeah, even a little bit more accurate. So I ended up selling him. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys real quick the pull I got after. Okay, guys. So I got a 90 overall flashback Darrell Revis. Great pull right there. You actually, get, I actually got him from an elite reward pack, which you get by putting five 87 overalls, non-auctionable or non-tradable, or they can be. But I just put like five heroes I don't use in there. And you get an 88 overall or higher guy. You know, it's not guaranteed to be this good. Um, this was just an amazing pull. I did it again and got an 88 Rashad Jones. who goes for 12k. So yeah, this was just like a really crazy lucky pull, and uh, it helped me fill out my roster, and I'll show you guys a roster update in the next video, but uh, make sure to like and subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time.